buy it customers only. Who's the singer? That is Magnolia, the flower of the third rail. Anything you want to know about her other than that is her business. Now, you're going to order? The third rail? Is this your place? What? Nah, God. Place is Hancock's. Old Charlie just keeps the floor clean and the tricks dirty. <laughs> so, you're buying a what? So, Hancock's the owner? That's right. Owner and mayor of this whole bloody town. Trust me, never get on his bad side. Stay clear of his bodyguard. So, what's your poison? Hancock has a bodyguard? Yeah. The redhead with the condescending stare. Trust me, Cub, something about her ain't right. I'll never admit saying that. I'm trying to sell drinks here. You in? What's the word around town? Well, they say there's a newcomer around here who doesn't understand that I'm a bartender, not a damn new spot. Now, are you gonna drink? Maybe later. Well, fucking make up your mind. Show my rings I do the boys a favor With all my manual labor It's good to be a good, good neighbor We can put it on the griddle, better get it while it's hot. I'll meet you in the middle, you can show me what you got. If you're feeling lucky tonight, ooh, Diamond City, yeah, that's my thing. I flash my style, I show my rings, I do the boys a favor. With all my manual labor, it's good to be a good, 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 good neighbor. Yeah. I do the boys a favor with all my manual labor. It's good to be a good, 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 good neighbor. I'm glad you managed to find Imogene. That girl needs looking after. Hmm, it's always a good time and good neighbor. <laughs> Isn't it? I hope you're having one. Beautiful as always, Mags. Well, thanks, Charlie. Can I get some water? No need to even ask. I always set aside a stash of the good stuff just for you. You are such a sweetheart, Charlie. Thank you. Ah, so, you're back. Drinks and my pleasant company still available. Excuse me, miss. Hello again. Something I can do for you? What's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into town like any songbird does, on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. Mm, well, this place has a stage I needed to sing. And Whitechapel Charlie needed customers, so here we are. Was there anything else? Whitechapel Charlie's been here a long time, I take it. Well, he never talks too much about his past. <laughs> Neither do I, really. I guess that's why we get along. You should get to know him, though. Order a drink first. He always wants to talk business after someone's had a few. And was that all? You need anything else? Come on, tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? You really want to know? It's all in the songs. Everything I am. Now, can I help you with anything else? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? 
go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Music. Hmm, I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. You're becoming quite a regular. Well, the beer still tastes the same. I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. Are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. Twenty years of loyal service. And now look at me. I wasn't on the list. But you, look at you. Two hundred years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? You don't know? They didn't tell you? Tell me what? What is it? How did you get through these last 200 years untouched? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? vault -Tec never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay. And the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. You're a ghoul? What's a ghoul? Radiation surplus, Mart. That's what a ghoul is. You think I'd be able to live this long on my own? The rats did this to me! Are there any other... Ghouls out there? From before? You mean crazy can't and nothing bothers me, Daisy? Yeah, there's a couple of us. But no one from the neighborhood. No one from vault -Tec. They just left me there. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement wants a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Where else could you go? Diamond City bigots don't allow ghouls inside. It's just here, or back at Sanctuary, talking to that crazy robot of yours. Hey, you know you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You... promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Sure, when you want to take in a stray, we do it. And when I want my own pet Deathclaw named Fluffy, it's all... No! Hey, I... I got something important to say. I really appreciate you putting up with my bullshit. The truth is, it's been a long time since I, I've had a... a... friend. I'm a liar. 
Everyone knows it. I make no secret of it. Because the truth is, I'm a fraud to my core. When I was young, a, a hell of a long time ago, I was, well, scum. I was a bigot. A very violent bigot. Were you really that bad? Worse than that. I ran with a gang in University Point. We called ourselves the UP Death Claws. For kicks, we'd terrorize anyone we thought was a synth. We kept egging each other on. Started with some property damage, graduated to some beatdowns. Then, inevitably, a lynching. The Claws leader was convinced we'd finally found and killed the synth. Looking back, I'm not so sure. You killed someone. That one was enough for me. It was his eyes. Those eyes haunt me. It's bulging. So I turned my back on my brothers. Broke all contact. Time passed, I became a farmer, if you can believe that. Then, one day I found someone. She saw something in me I didn't know was there. Barbara, well, she was... She just was. What was she like? She had a smile like on those old magazine covers. Her eyes... We were trying for kids. Eking out a living. Then one day... It turns out my Barbara... She was a sin. She didn't know that. I certainly didn't. I don't know how the Death Claws found out, but... There was blood. So they killed her? Yes. I don't remember much clearly after that. I know I killed most of the claws. I must have made a big impression. The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be sympathetic, seeing that I lost my wife. And, well, what I did afterwards. The railroad let you in, even though you were in the death claws. So many years had passed, I don't think anyone, well, except for the claws, knew that. All they knew is, someone fought back. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Everyone, Tom, Dez, you, even that asshole Carrington, they deserve to be on the railroad. I don't. I'm everything wrong with this whole fucking commonwealth. You're the only friend I got. I don't deserve you being okay with this. Hell, I'm not even asking for it. But I figured you should know. That's... a lot to process. I can imagine. Listen, you must be wondering, hey, is Deacon messing with my head? Again? But even if you don't believe anything else, know that you're my friend. Maybe my only one. So... Good talk. 